Hey there, starlings. Welcome to my sector of the universe. This is Jasmine Capella Wellness here to help you step into your truth and star into your power. For those of you who have never been here before, welcome. Thank you so much for joining me and for watching one of my videos for the first time. For those of you who are returning, thank you so much for returning to watch another one of my videos. And to my subscribers, I cannot thank you enough for your love, your loyalty, and your support in this channel. For those of you who join me in my lives, I am truly, truly grateful. I cannot express that enough, how grateful I am to each and every one of you. And for those who've been making these very heartwarming, um, emotional comments on my videos, it's been, I can't, it's ineffable. It, it's really indescribable and it's been uh, amazing um, as far as I've come along on this journey and creating this channel and reading for you guys, it's one of the most wonderful things I could ever experience hands down. And I'm so grateful that I've been helping so many of you on your journeys. I mean, the words that I've seen that you guys have written, it's just, it blows me away. There's never a dull moment and it just never ceases to amaze me. Um, the the encouragement empowerment that i've been giving so many of you and from the bottom of my heart i cannot thank you guys enough and i'm so glad that you have crossed over to my sector of the universe and my messages have been able to um help you along your journey um there's not really much from else for me to say other than i wish all of you a very very merry christmas happy holidays happy new year um, feliz año, prospero año nuevo, all that good stuff. And I really hope that 2020 is your best year yet, but it, it, it is what you make of it. Okay. But I feel it will be a very life changing year for you. And I wish you nothing but the best. And I send much love and many blessings as I always do. With that being said, let's get into your reading. Hey there, Taurus. Welcome to your weekly reading. How's it going? I hope you are doing wonderful. I have, hope you had a wonderful weekend. We're really starting to get into the thick of things with the month of December. It's crazy. Just trying to go with the flow, right? It's the best we can do. Um, so, Taurus, for this week, I send you much love and many, many blessings. If you've never been here before, Taurus, what we're going to do is we're going to see what your overall theme is for this week, what you need to focus on, and what you need to avoid for your spiritual growth, because that is what this is all about. Stick around to the end so you can see what's coming to you with regards to love, what your um, affirmation of the week is, and we're also going to get some additional guidance from Spirit. All right, here we go. Let's see what your overall theme is for this week, Taurus. Spirit guides, angels, galactic family, please, Sirius. Thank you. <laughs> we have Lapis Lazuli. Life changing epiphany or experience. It's a time of big and blessed change for you, Taurus. And God is supporting you each step of the way. It's like the sort of Excalibur kind of in the stone there, right? tiger's eye we have confidence through god confidence believe in yourself by believing in god working through you absolutely all right bottom of the deck is calcite busy times and multitasking take charge of your schedule during this busy time and honestly assess your underlying reasons for being busy okay all right taurus so we're going to go with this underlying energy here with calcite, okay? I'm getting a few things, like I usually do. There's usually two groups that I pick up on when I do these readings. And remember, Taurus, this is a general reading. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't for somebody else. If it's not your story, it's not your story. If you're saying, well, that's not me. I'm not, I don't have that going on. Then that message is not for you. It's for somebody else. But also remember to keep your unhealthy ego in check, okay? Um, and be honest with yourself. If we're going to be living lives in, full of dishonesty and, and we're trying to put our heads in the sand, that abundance, our heart's desires that we're truly seeking, they won't manifest. 
because dishonesty is low vibrational. We want to be high vibrational, right? So um, again, this is just guidance. You do have free will, yet there was a reason why you were led here. But again, I will say there are two different groups. So I'll start with the first one. Some of you are working really hard or doing things, keeping yourselves busy to avoid something. And you know what that is, Taurus. For some of you, you are doing that. God really wants you to see the truth of the situation. It's kind of like Ace of Swords, not being blindfolded, kind of like Two of Swords, Eight of Swords type of energy here. Um, it says, honestly, it says your underlying reasons for being busy, right? Are you trying to avoid talking to someone? Are you trying to avoid speaking up for yourself? You, you afraid? Are you afraid of, of doing what you know is right? What your heart is telling you to do? And uh, you're trying to do things to just keep your mind off of it. Somebody here might be working and working and working because they want to just make a lot of money. I know this is holiday time. So maybe there's something where you're running yourself to the ground with trying to think that you have to give all these gifts or or appease people. I'm hearing people pleasing or something like that or, or, or trying to look good or trying to... There's something here with working too much about making money because there, there's something... I'm going to have to say it, Taurus, and they're, my guides don't screw around. There's something with vanity here. It could be your person, somebody you're dealing with, right? Or it could be you. Again, be honest with yourself. So, um, Spirit is really uh, asking you to really make some time for yourself. Um, I'm hearing you don't have to do everything and anything. Time to take breaks. Time to take a time out. It's like the hangman, the four swords. Just take a breather. All right. You don't have to be doing so much all the time. Um, at times it is very unnecessary. And, and unless, you're, if you're, unless you're focusing on your inner work, on facing your demons and doing spiritual work, that's a little different. But what I'm getting, Taurus, is that for some of you, this has to do with doing things that are not for your highest good, but you're trying to avoid something, okay? Others of you, um, there are going to be some major shifts coming to you, Taurus. I'm seeing tower moments. I'm seeing things that are rapidly coming out of nowhere. I see the tower card. I see the eight of um, wands. I see the knight of wands, the knight of swords. Very fast moving energy and Whatever is going on, Taurus, there's something exciting that's coming for another group of you where you're going to be very busy. There is going to be multitasking. Maybe you're, you know, you're you're coming into union with somebody and you're getting married all of a sudden and you're moving into a new house and you're blending families or you're going to want to start a family right away or your career suddenly changes at the same time all this happens. That's what I'm getting. It's like this massive dump of Christmas gifts at your door, Taurus. And and I know your last reading was about a Christmas miracle, right? So I think this is tying into that for those of you who have done the work, okay? Those of you who committed to your spiritual growth, evolution of the soul, to your healing, all right? And you're beginning to manifest like this whole massive sack that Santa's leaving at your front door or whatever he's leaving it, okay? That's what I'm getting for another group of you. And things are going to be changing. You're going to be very busy. Maybe if you have a business and it has been stagnant and it's kind of been, you know, you get kind of clients here or there or you're selling something online and you're getting kind of a couple, uh, a few sales or something like that, all of a sudden it's going to change, okay? And all of these people are gonna be coming after you to, to work with you, or they're going to be wanting to buy what you sell, something along those lines. Um, uh, maybe you're going to be getting offers from all over the place. Ace of Wands, Ace of Pentacles. Hey, you know, I love what you do. They can, can, you want to work with us? Getting contracts or something like that. That's for another group. Um, now the whole energy is changing. It's going to be shifting really greatly. And it, you know, here it is with this lapis lazuli, right? The life-changing epiphany you're experience. This is, um, again, Knight of Swords, Knight of Wands. This is Tower card stuff. All right, um, 
maybe even the death card, right? Death card is also about huge transitions from one way of life to another, okay? Maybe even judgment, okay? So it says it's a time of big and blessed change for you. And whatever this is, Taurus, God is going to be there every step of the way. For those of you who are actually trying to work or trying to avoid something by keeping busy and doing things are not for your highest good, God is going to come in and say, hey, you know what, Taurus, you know that this isn't working for you. You're going to have to face your fears, your demons, kind of like the death card. You're going to have to go in this direction because the direction that you're in right now is not working for you. Because maybe you're in this job, again, that it's like you're working a lot and you're just trying to get all this money for whatever reason. And, you know, there's no judgment here, of course, right? Um, I was guilty of that at one point because I would work a lot of lo long hours um, and if they paid overtime, I would do it. But at the same, but the main reason was for me to try to have extra time off so that in case my son was going to be sick or my son had a, um, a field trip, I wouldn't be worried about losing hours or having, you know, a not enough PTO, which ends up being you end up getting leave without pay, right? That type of thing. It's like I got so caught up in that that I was I was making myself way too busy. I wasn't trying to avoid something. I was trying to do it because I was fearful of something happening. That might be for you too, Taurus, where you're trying to keep busy. You're overworking yourself. You're not taking time out for yourself because there's a fear of losing something or fear of lack. Or um, you could be trying to avoid somebody. Because I know there are people who will work and work and work. And they will make an excuse. Oh, hey, I can't hang out with you. Or, hey, you know, oh, I haven't heard from you in a while. Oh, I've been really busy with work, right? Somebody's doing that to try to avoid somebody or something. And if that's you, Taurus, God's got to come in. And say, hey, you know what? This is not serving you, but I'm going to get you to see that there's something better. I'm seeing like Eight of Cups energy here too. Whatever this is, you might think it's some sort of derailment, Taurus. But it's not. It says here, it's a time of big and blessed change for you. Even if you're being taken out of your comfort zone, even if you're being told, you know what, you got to stop being so busy, we're going to slow you down because you need to slow down. That's for somebody here. The others of you, um, there's a lot of major changes coming to you, Taurus, a lot of wonderful things because you have done a lot of hard work, you have stuck to your guns, you've been Knight of Pentacles taking responsibility for your life and your actions and sticking to your gun, sticking to your goals, focusing on the task at hand and knowing that you were going to reach your destination type of thing. Um, and when I look at this with the sword and the stone, right? Ace of swords, there's like a, a clean slate. There's a new beginning here. There's going to be clarity that's going to be brought to you or you're going to be giving clarity to somebody, Taurus, and it's going to change a lot of things. This could very well be communication coming in and um, again, I talked about contracts, right? Ace of Swords could talk about contracts, a message coming in um, that is orchestrated by God mainly because it is the Ace of Swords. There's some sort of gift here, gift of clarity, gift of insight, whatever this is for you, take it how it resonates. And so for some, it's going to change your life. It's going to change a lot of things. And... Um, Whatever this is, it's for some of you, you're going to be very busy, but in a good way. And with the tiger's eye here, self-confidence through God confidence, believe in yourself. So whatever this life-changing event is, moment, Taurus, know that it's for your highest good. Remember that everything happens for a reason. Things don't happen by accident. Things don't happen by coincidence. It's all there for a purpose. And whatever this is, it's going to bring something completely new. Again, some of you are not on the right path at the moment. Others of you have been on the right path. And it's like you're getting your rewards, I'm hearing. I'm seeing Nine of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles. You're, you're reaping the rewards for the hard work that you have done. Again, that's for those of you who have done the hard spiritual work. The the You've grown a lot. You have evolved a lot. You are in alignment with your higher self. 
and whatever's coming next in this new phase of your life, whatever it is for you, Taurus, know that you have what it takes. You are the magician. You create your reality. Your thoughts create your reality. You are also the charioteer in the chariot card where whatever God is leading you towards, he's leading you towards your abundance, your salvation, your bliss, your paradise, okay? Because God sees everything. He knows everything. He knows where we need to be. So understand that whatever changes are going through your, uh, whatever changes you're about to experience, Taurus, or maybe you're going through this now, and maybe you're wondering, oh my gosh, you know, this is a lot. What does this card say? Believe in yourself by believing in God working through you. You're a child of God. You are God within. So God is carrying you forward. He's working through you to get through this. So he's working through you to get to where you need to be. He's working through you so that you can deal with all these changes that are in your life right now or that are coming. All right. God confidence. You already have that confidence within you because you are already God within. You have everything that you need. God is our only source and supply. And as long as we realize that, we recognize that, we don't really have to give in to any fear thinking that we're not ready for something, thinking that we are not capable of that next phase in our lives, taking that next step, that leap of faith into that new journey we're about to embark on, okay? So, yeah, there's there's a lot of life changes. Some of you, it's really going to get you on your path. Others of you, this is like like the world card. And the full card, the world card, things are ending, new beginnings are happening. You've completed a cycle, a major chapter in your life, maybe even a book. And now you're going to start a completely new story. Okay. Let's see what you need to focus on. Spirit guides, angels, galactic family, Pleiadian Syrians, please reveal to us for our highest good. What does Taurus need? to focus on for this week please and thank you thank you for your wisdom your guidance your support and your clarity i'm hearing taurus moon either you have moon in taurus or somebody you know has moon in taurus We have the Seven of Swords here. Some of you are freaking out already. Don't freak out about this because you know what? There is a lot of different interpretations of this card and Spirit wants me to go through all of them because it pertains to different people here. Remember, this is a general, okay? But be honest with yourself. This, because it's in the focus position, could mean a few things, okay? Some of you need to stop lying to yourself and deceiving yourself. Again, like I said before, honestly assess why you are working so much. Are you trying to get away from something, someone? You're trying to get away from, that's what I was saying. Okay. Be honest. What are you trying to run away from? There's like sneakiness here. It's either you or your person. All right. What are you trying to avoid? These are negative thoughts. You want to get away from negative thoughts, right? The self-confidence through God confidence, you got to believe in yourself. You really have that confidence within you because God is always with you. He's always there to support you. We have two cards that talk about support, right? God is supporting you each step of the way. God is working through you. There might be deception around you, Taurus, and you feel it. Again, there's something about walking away from whatever lies are being told to you, betrayals, whatever sneaky behavior or people gossiping or people saying things around you. They want you to, to walk away from that. Um, I'm hearing again, Taurus, some of you need to stop lying to yourself. 
you, there's negative thoughts. This is like self-sabotage too for me. What are you fearing? What are you doubting? Why are you having all of these negative thoughts playing in your mind? What is it that you're not seeing? What is it that you're trying to avoid? You might be trying to avoid speaking the truth here. We have two of swords. Two of swords is avoidance, withdrawal, not seeing the truth in situation. It's also about not speaking your truth either. There's a throat chakra problem with the two of swords. So maybe that's you, Taurus. Okay. This could also be looks could be deceiving. This is the looks could be deceiving card. Optical illusions. Things aren't always what they seem, Taurus. It's time to get to the truth of the situation. Bottom of the deck is the three of wands. Maybe patience is needed. Maybe you have to understand that in divine timing, things will all work out. This could also be you making forward progress. Maybe you're thinking, okay, this is for some other people here. You've been doing a lot of work and you're not seeing any progress. You're not seeing the manifestation of your dreams, okay? Maybe that's what this is. And you're expecting to see something in the physical. We don't have pentacles here yet. We only have wands and swords, so... There's something here where looks could be deceiving. You think that all this work that you're putting in, Taurus, is for nothing, but it's not. Your ships are coming in. You just have to continue to be patient. You've put in the hard work, and now you are going to get your rewards, as I was saying. Some of you need to continue on your journey, okay? Some of you actually need to get going on taking charge of your schedule. That's another group of you. I'm getting all these groups now, okay? Don't rest on your laurels. Don't stop before the miracle occurs. Continue to do the work. All right, for those of you who are kind of like, oh my gosh, you know, I've been working so hard, whatever. Why is this not um, working out for me? Maybe some of you are trying to push it too much with regards to your healing or your life's purpose because that can happen. Trust me, it kind of happened to me. I thought I had to do way more than I thought and it still wasn't working out until I actually meditated on it and my angels had said, Jess, you don't need to do all of this, just focus on this, it's overkill. I'm seeing Eight of Swords, okay? You don't have to do everything and anything. That's what happened to me when I started to work my mission and I was doing my own healing. You take time, right? This is patience, this is, this is like a long journey here. Don't think that what you are doing, because you can't see anything in the physical, that it's not happening because it is. God is working through you. He's supporting you with this. Okay. For those of you who are kind of like stuck and you're like, am I, am, am I doing this for nothing? Because I'm not seeing anything yet. You don't need to see to believe. Believing is already seeing. So don't be all up in your head. Because things are working in the background. You don't know anything about. See the high priestess. That's what always happens. The universe is doing magical things behind the scenes. Continue to move, forward, make forward progress on your journey. Okay. Others of you, there's something, somebody secretly planning something. Or you're secretly planning something. And it's going to be life changing. Um, this might even involve travel. You might be, somebody might be secretly planning a trip or something like that, or to move overseas, <laughs> or to move to a completely low, different location, okay? This could be um, 
there's, a, yeah, this is all strategic planning, secret planning. There's this sense of somebody's doing something behind your back, Taurus, or you're doing this to someone, Taurus, but it's in a positive sense, okay? Again, I read this card differently because somebody here really did some self-reflection to think about what is of value to them. Do I want to keep running away from the situation? Do I want to keep avoiding the truth? And now this person is trying to figure out how to stop doing that. This could also mean that this person was always trying to avoid you, Taurus, or you were trying to avoid them. You lied to them, you made up stories. You were trying to get away with something every time and you left them without the truth. And now you are trying to figure out, strategically plan a way to come back and speak your truth and say exactly what was happening and why you were wearing a mask or why your person was wearing a mask. Again, it's, it's either you or them. Because somebody here, it's you or your person, Taurus, somebody's been waiting a long time for an answer for something. And you never gave him an answer. You just walked away. You avoided the situation. Again, avoidance with the two of swords. You avoided speaking your truth. And you thought by what you said, maybe you said something harsh or you tried to take advantage of someone, or you tried to belittle someone, or you said something that just was not nice, and you thought that was gonna be the end of it, but it wasn't. And this person has been waiting a long time for you to come clean. This is also the coming clean card. And again, even though it's not in the reverse, guys, I read intuitively, that's how they want me to read all of this. There's a lot of messages. But with this life-changing thing, somebody secretly planning something, it's really going to change your world is what I said before. And um, whatever, if somebody's coming clean or telling you the truth, what I said with the sword Excalibur there, there is a lot of blessings coming in here. Your ships are coming in. Again, I said with that big, big sack of gifts that Santa's going to leave you at your door. Santa's on his way. <laughs> That's what I just heard, okay? He's on his way, Taurus. Your ships are coming in. Just because you do not see anything, God wants you to be surprised. Again, with that tower moment, it's the life-changing epiphany or experience. A time of big and blessed change for you, Taurus. It's coming in. You're not going to see it coming. Because this card also talks about, I talked about secret planning, right? There's something that's got to come out of nowhere. Because the Seven of Swords guy, he's like, hey, I'm tiptoeing around. I got something planned for you, Taurus. It's exactly what God is doing. God has something major planned for you. And you're going to be so shocked. It's going to be what on earth just happened here. Okay. Um, look what's underneath the Three of Wands. They wanted me to look at it. It's the Page of Cups unexpected message yep i was talking about communication there's the sword right there somebody's gonna get an unexpected surprise unexpected message and it's gonna be like what it might even be a message of love somebody might actually be telling you how they feel and you've been like waiting for a long time okay um i'm waiting for some sort of explanation and instead of getting an explanation, they're going to say, uh, you know what, Taurus, or this is you, Taurus. I actually have deep feelings for you. I'm going to open up my heart and I'm actually going to express my feelings that I've cared about you for a very long time. I've loved you since the day I met you, whatever, whatever. And it's going to be like, what just happened? Right? Somebody has been really planning how to come forward with this 
message. It could even be a proposal, okay? Because the Page of Cups can do proposal. And look, so look what's beneath this. It's the Ten of Frickin' Pentacles. And look what's underneath that. They want me to keep going, Ace of Cups. Can't make it up. You know your ship's coming in, Taurus? You're going to get the Ten of Pentacles with the Ace of Cups. And it's going to start with this message. It all starts with this message. And it's like a snowball effect, but in a good way, right? Because now you're going to get, I said, the Santa's presents, right? The big sack of gifts at the front door. All you wanted was one thing, Taurus. Maybe some communication from somebody. You've waited a long time and then blam, your life totally changes because this message shakes up your world. It is coming as a surprise. Again, with the secretly planning strategic stuff, it's like sneaky, but in a good way. For some of you, it's just a good thing. And you get the Ten of Pentacles. Marriage, the home. I said it, did I not? Blended families. What's at the top? Spirit says, look at the top. Oh my God, look, it's the Six of Wands. Victory after the battle. You've gone through a lot, Taurus. You've overcome your battles. You've won the war. And now you're coming back victorious. Somebody's recognizing you for something. This might even be job related. Work recognizing you for your hard work. Okay? That's why for some of you, you've and I did there is somebody here. You're avoiding, you're working uh so hard because you're avoiding something. And others of you, you've been working very hard. You're not seeing results. You're not seeing any sort of um, benefit to this. But look, you're gonna. There's pride and recognition for your achievements here, Taurus. There's victory and success here. This is also a breakthrough. Okay. Things are changing. You've done the hard work. Oh my goodness. Let's see what you need to avoid. Spirit guides, angels, galactic family, Pleiadian Syrians, please reveal to us for our highest good. What does Taurus need to avoid for this week? <laughs> Excuse me. Okay. Even though it's what you need to avoid, I'm getting one or two messages, as I usually do, guys, so bear with me. You know what story is resonating with you be honest okay now with the four of wands in the avoid position okay some of you are working over time doing too much of something because you're trying to avoid something in the home there's like uh maybe either you or them Taurus, whoever this person is, who's just not paying attention to what's going on in the home, not paying attention to family, there's family discord here. This is also about divorce. All right. Maybe some of you want to get divorced from your spouse because they're not caring about the family. They may not be helping you out. And all they do is work, 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 and work. They're trying to avoid the responsibilities of what's going on in the home. Maybe the marriage isn't working out anymore. Again, this is for somebody. It's not for all of you, okay? Obviously, if you're not married, the story isn't for you. Okay, so bear with me. So there's somebody here where somebody's working a lot trying to avoid something. Or it's just because somebody's a workaholic. And that's all they really care about. And they don't really care about focusing on the marriage or the family, the kids, whatever this is. Okay. And this is causing some family discord. This is an imbalance in the home, an imbalance in your life, an imbalance even with your physical, mental, emotional state. Something more with spirituality here. Um, that's what I'm getting from this. Okay. Spirit really wants you to start um, coming to terms with what is in your best interest. And if you, Taurus, are contemplating divorce because of this, 
know that again you have the support from god and your angels and your guides everybody's here to support you through this if you know deep down inside especially if god's been telling you taurus it's time to make a move right this is life changing right if you maybe you've been married for a very long time and there's this fear i, I talked about this fear you're avoiding something due to fear um you're afraid of what's going to happen in the future if you do get divorced. Don't worry about that, Taurus. For those of you who haven't been here before, if you're, you don't know about my story, I was married for 10 years and I filed. I was the one who filed because I just couldn't deal with it anymore. And honestly, I dealt with somebody who put work ahead of everything else. And I'm not knocking on my ex-husband. I'm not doing that. But I'm here because my guys want me to tell you the story so that some of you will resonate with this. Okay? This is part of my mission. I learned a lot through my marriage and through all my life's experiences. And part of my mission is to help teach. To help you guys with understanding that you're not alone. That other people go through this too. I've been through this, but I was able to overcome this tremendously. I would not be where I'm at right now if it weren't for that experience, okay? It was a very life-changing one. It was scary, but God actually told me, Jess, you're going to have to pull out of this. This is not working for you, and you know it's been like this for years. There was unequal give and take there. My ex-husband, my husband at the time, focused on work, and I know and now I know, as I went through my journey and my healing, I started to realize why that was. It had to do with programming. It had to do with a lot of things. And I'm not going to get so much into it because that is my ex-husband's business, right? But maybe, usually one-on-one -on -one clients, I will kind of talk more about my experiences. But I really don't like to do too much of that on this platform. So, um and it's helped a lot of my one-on-one -on -one clients when I talk about, you know, my experiences, especially with dealing with a divorce, because it is not the end of the world. It is not. I am living my best life now. I've been single for a very long time, and it's been one of the greatest things that I could have ever experienced. I was so codependent on relationships, it wasn't even funny. So if this is your story, Taurus, know that this is not the end. While it might be life-changing, and you were contemplating this and thinking that is your life over, it's not. It's only the beginning. The end is just the beginning. It's a time of big and blessed change for you, Taurus. If you are the one resonating with the story where there's a, there's family discord, the family's falling apart, your marriage is falling apart because this is about marriage. You, you don't have to have kids. Maybe it's just a marriage, okay? Um, something in the home is not right and you know it. So know that you can overcome this, okay? You do what's right for you. Now, the bottom of the deck is the sun card. Either somebody's ego is affecting something here, Taurus. It's either your ego or your person's. Something needs to come to light here. The truth needs to be told. Taurus, you need to face the truth. This is the light of truth. This is the light of God. God is shining light on this situation to get you to realize this is not a situation for your highest good, Taurus. Again, this is for some of you, not for all of you. All right. Stop trying to avoid the situation. Or stop allowing somebody to get away with something all the time, knowing that it is not bringing harmony and peace and stability in your marriage, in your home. Some of you might be overly optimistic. Oh, well, maybe this is going to rectify itself. And I'm getting this gut feeling that I should leave or I should get a divorce or I should change things or I should follow my own happiness. But you're not listening to it. This is a bliss card. This is the happiest card in the deck, but it's in the void position. But I will get to the other message in a little bit because there is a different message with this. But be honest, Taurus, because there's something here that you need to really see clearly. God is shining light on this situation. And he wants you to understand that whatever situation you're in, you're not happy. You're 
you're not happy. You got to follow your bliss. You got to follow what makes you happy. Do what makes you happy, Taurus. There's also children involved here because the sun could talk about children. You want a new beginning, but you're afraid because especially if you are contemplating divorce and you want to uh, and you're you have children, you're, you're worried about the kids, right? I know I have a son. I was in the same situation, but God saw it through. God supported me and he did. And even though it was a little scary, it was a little challenging at the beginning. It was the best decision I could ever made. And everything turned out to be okay. Everything turned out to be even better than okay. Even my own son is okay. So, again, the unhealthy ego was what I talked about. Don't let that affect your abundance from coming in because this is abundance too. Okay? New beginnings. Everything that ends always brings a new beginning. It's always like that, okay? For others of you, you know what the secret planning is? It's a home. It's marriage. I talked about proposal, did I not? Somebody's secretly planning to propose to you, Taurus. Or Taurus, you're the one who's secretly planning. <laughs> sneaky, sneaky you. This marriage here, this is union, this is the 1111 card. So for a few of you who've done the work, you're coming into union with your person and this person is uh, planning a surprise proposal. They want to marry you or this is you, Taurus, who's doing this, okay? Both of you are in alignment now, which is why physical sacred union is occurring. There's cause for celebration. This is an exciting time. I said there's something exciting happening and here it is, okay? You're thinking that something is not happening, Taurus? Man, I really did all this work. Like, what's going on? And you feel it coming. I know some of you feel this. Those of you who have done the work, you're feeling it. Something is happening. It's happening behind the scenes and somebody's strategically planning a marriage proposal, wanting to get married to you. I talked about that. We saw the page of cups at the bottom of the deck after the um, three of wands. Okay. This is a life changing event. Okay. You're not going to see this coming and it could very well happen around Christmas time. If not Christmas Eve or Christmas day. Okay. That's part of Santa's gift to you. <laughs> Getting married. Right before the holidays or maybe right on the holiday. And again, the sun. Here we go. Brand new beginning. Abundance. Happiness. Bliss. This is a lot of happiness right here. And again, it comes with that clarity. With that message that comes in out of nowhere. I talked about Ace of Swords, right? It's kind of same energy. You're going to get clarity here. The truth is coming to light, Taurus. For Taurus, you are speaking your truth and you're finally explaining something. Explaining why you were Seven Swords, Seven of Swords at the beginning. The shadow side of the Seven of Swords. Wearing a mask. Lying. Trying to get away with stuff trying to avoid situations, trying to avoid speaking the truth. Now the truth comes out, okay? Truth is coming out, Taurus. And it's going to be a beautiful thing because now you're going to get clarity. You're going to finally understand why somebody acted the way that they did. This also tells me either you or your person, Taurus, they are completely brand new. This is a child here. There's a rebirth here, okay? With the Four of Wands, this is major achievement after the Three of Wands, right? After going through that journey, after doing all of the hard work. It's cause for celebration. This person has changed a great deal. They're now balanced. They're now stable. They may have actually already bought a home for you or something. I'm telling you, for some of you, it's like, you get married, you come into union, you get married. And I said union before, did I not? You come into union, you get married. I said all of this. 
you blend your families, you build a family together, you start, you add on to the family, you move to a new house, all of these things, okay? It's like everything is under the sun. You're going to get everything under the sun, Taurus. And going forward, your days are going to be full of bliss, harmony, love, peace, light, unconditional love. This card also talks about twins reuniting, light counterparts reuniting. Okay. So there's that too. This person coming back, they're brand new. They've completely healed a great deal. This is a huge achievement for this individual. Also for you, but more so for this individual. Because what I'm hearing, Taurus, is that this person went through a lot of shit and they went through a great deal of healing and it's a major accomplishment a major achievement for them and they now understand the meaning of life they're celebrating life now because before they were blaming god blaming whatever for things not going right and now they understand what the meaning of life is and now they understand with you taurus that you light up their world you were their sun their moon and their stars I just heard you are their Christmas miracle. <laughs> How beautiful is that? <clears throat> they want a new beginning with you. There's a new beginning. Again, this is a big blessing, Taurus. Especially with the fact that this person has really undergone a great deal of healing. And they are a completely new person. You're going to be so surprised, right? I said, you're not going to see it coming. You're going to be like, who are you again? Are you sure you're so-and-so? I was actually going to say a name, but I'm not going to say it. Two of Pentacles. This could be adventurous travel. This could be, you know, making that decision. For those of you who are on making that decision, it's about leaving a marriage or partner, getting divorced. You're going back and forth on it. You know what decision to make, and it's the decision that's going to bring you the most happiness, Taurus. Okay. Oh my gosh. I'm just rambling on, and I haven't even clarified the cards yet. Let's see why the Seven of Swords is here. It's like, I channel so much, guys. It's just unreal. And they never allow me to have short readings, I know, because some people are like, oh my gosh, these readings could be so long. But you know what? If you're drawn to it, make time for it. Split it. Watch half of it one part of the day, the other half the other part of the day, or the next day. I don't know. But I'm a very different reader, as a lot of you can tell. And <laughs> look at that card. Clarifying the Seven of Swords. All right, it flipped in the reverse, but they said no. We got all excited. Put it up in the upright. Look what it is. It's the Hierophant. I was talking about the Hierophant, was I not? Divine forgiveness obtains friendship and favors of the great. What does that say? Secures promises. Archangel Hazio, the merciful God. Told you there is marriage. All right. This person is secretly planning marriage here. Um, this is also for you, Taurus, to have faith and to let go of that old programming, that old conditioning. For some of you, this is about the conditioning about how divorce is bad, especially if you are like in Catholic religion, like I, I grew up Catholic, that, you know, it was a bad thing to get divorced and I prayed a lot about this, guys, and God showed me. And he told me, Jess, it is not. How am I going to allow you to be in an unhappy marriage where there's unequal give and take and all of these other things? That's not a divine marriage. Divine is of the light. God is of the light. It's the sun card. Unhappiness, misery, misery. Um, discontentment, being taken advantage of, not being valued. That's low vibrational. How does that make sense as a divine marriage when that is closer to the devil than it is to God, right? 
So some of you, you might have, be having a complex on this. Maybe that's why you're going back and forth because of your programming, because of the religion, or maybe it's not religion. Maybe other people are going to say, oh my gosh, you're getting divorced. You're a divorced woman. You're a divorced man. It's like a married woman scorned or some crap like that. Do not give in to that nonsense. You know, people still can't believe to this day that I'm a happily divorced woman, but I don't look at that as that anymore. I'm a divine being. That's what I am. Technically, on paper, I'm considered divorced, but what does that really matter to anyone? It's nothing. I'm the Empress. That's who I am. And that's what all of you should be. That's what you should be believing about yourself. Okay? God is supporting you with this. This is the God card. This is the Jesus card. Let go of those limiting beliefs about yourself, about what others are telling you to do, what not to do. It's time for you to commit to your happiness, your dreams, your goals, your aspirations. What is it that you want, Taurus? The others of you, yes, this talks about marriage. You think you're not seeing something happening, the physical, you're feeling it, nothing's happening. It's, it's manifesting, Taurus. It's manifesting. God is working this behind the scenes. Stay committed to what your goals are, what your mission is, because, because God is finalizing whatever this is. And if it's talking about union for a few of you, God is finalizing this union, okay? That's like the last step. Perfect orchestration is the temperance card. So there is commitment here. That's what you don't see coming. You got married here twice. Commitment. Somebody's seriously going to commit to you. And Hierophant, I forgot. That's you, Taurus. You're showing up in your own reading. The Queen of Wands is at the bottom of the deck. Divine power guards against internal troubles. Oh, they told me I forgot something. God forgives us. And so we should forgive others because we are God within. We're all children of God. So there's a message for here for somebody. Someone may be asking you for forgiveness, Taurus, and you have to forgive this person or this situation, whatever this is. Forgiveness brings peace and it actually completes that uh, major part of this healing and the connection here, especially if you're a light counterpart slash twin flame. The massive amount of abundance doesn't come in unless your heart chakra is completely cleared. And if you cannot forgive, your heart chakra will not be completely cleared. It just won't. Queen of Wands at the bottom of the deck. Be that fearless queen, Taurus. You know what you want, go after it. That's exactly what she does. She taps into the divine. She's always connected to God. And God gives her that courage and ambition. Again, self-confidence through God confidence with the tiger's eye card. That's her right here. Right here. Self-confidence, queen of wands through God confidence, the hierophant. This is the God card, like I said. You have what it takes. Go after what it is that you want with gusto, with that fierceness. You're more powerful than you think you are. You're stronger than you think you are, Taurus, to go after what is whatever it is that you want. It's your life. It's your happiness. It's your bliss. It's not anybody else's. It's yours. The divine power is within you already. Because you are God within, as I said. It's time to take action. You are that powerful being, Taurus. What am I doing? I need to clarify the Four of Wands. Why is the Four of Wands here? Spirit guides and angels, please and thank you. Thank you for your wisdom, your guidance, your support, and your clarity. Thank you very much. Oh my God. What did I say? The world card is clarifying the Four of Wands. 
See, fountain of wisdom gives success in all ventures. Success, victory, major accomplishment. Not only is this a major achievement here in your life and your person's life, Taurus, we have the world card. For those of you who've done the work, I said, it's not just the end of a chapter. It's the end of the story that you've been living all this time. You are now going to write a completely new book. Success, major achievements, things coming full circle. I said that at the beginning of the reading. The work has been done for some of you, Taurus. It's now time to live the next phase of your life. It's a time of big blessings. Again, life-changing epiphanies and experiences. There's major changes for you, Taurus, coming forward. And it's happening very soon. I keep hearing it's around Christmas time. But don't quote me on that. That's for some, not for all. Everyone's on different timelines. For those of you who still need to do the work, this is probably something going into the way, way, way future where you will have all of these wonderful things. This is the reward that you get when you follow your heart and you go after what it is that you want and you follow your bliss. Okay. Others of you, this is about being stagnant. Again, with that two of pentacles, you're iffy. You're not, you're afraid to make a decision. You're going back and forth. You're unsure of what decision to make. You were stalling. God is trying to give you something better here, Taurus, and you are delaying that. It's like you're stalling your own progress, which is why I said with the three of wands that we saw, you got to keep going. You can't rest on your laurels. You got to go through with, with what is right for you, Taurus. Okay. This is stagnation. These are delays in your progress. You got to do something. It's time for you to make that decision, Taurus. There's lack of completion here for some of you. This is also about disappointments. It's like you want something to end, Taurus, but it's not ending, but it's because you need to make that decision. You need to do what your heart's telling you to do. Again, you have to be queen of wands and go after what is it you want. You have to have that confidence and that courage to go through with this, whatever this is. Fountain of wisdom gives success of all ventures. You got to follow your divine wisdom. And again, like the Queen of Wands, she follows the Divine Wisdom. She's like, I'm not giving into fear because God's got my back. The universe has my back and I'm going for it. There are no shortcuts to this, Taurus, whatever this is. For the others of you who need to make a choice, there are no shortcuts. You're going to have to to be strong and face the music, face the truth here. If you're disappointed... With your world not changing, it's because you need to change your world first. Your internal world, your outer world will change after that. Um, this is also for somebody who's coming in. Um, there's seeking closure. Some of you have been seeking closure from somebody. And again, there's somebody's coming clean with somebody, something. Somebody's telling you the truth. You're going to get that closure. And things are going to come full circle. And you're going to understand why, as I said. And now you're going to be able to move to the next phase of your life, of your journey. It's a new journey. It's a new beginning. The bottom of the deck is the devil. I talked about the devil too. It's Archangel Samuel, the severity of God seduction and downfall communicates with the dead teaches the occult and magic all right yeah something with the family home something is not right here it's a seduction downfall the family discord of marriage it's fallen apart 
Um, you you know what this is, Taurus. For those of you who are in these situations, you know that it's not serving you. Don't let ego get the best of you. Do not stay in these toxic jobs, these toxic relationships, these toxic marriages, all right? Somebody is addicted to work. I was channeling this card because I thought of Capricorn energy. Sometimes with a Capricorn or strong Capricorn in a chart could make someone, and they're very, you know, work driven, right? And some of them take it to the extreme. It's funny because my ex-husband's a Capricorn. And he was really focused on work. Some of you, this is your experience right now. It's time to face your fears, Taurus. You know something is not serving you. You know something is not bringing you happiness. You're afraid to face the truth, as I said. Somebody here is working too much to avoid something. Okay? You gotta get that courage to overcome whatever these fears are. Do the shadow work. All right? Maybe your shadow self is surfacing or somebody's shadow self is surfacing. You got to let go of these attachments and release your limiting beliefs. Some of you are hiding your true self. And for somebody who's coming clean here, they were hiding them, their true selves the whole time. There was a delay, okay? Maybe they were stalling. Your person was stalling. They were afraid to face the truth. They were hiding their true selves. They were afraid to face their fears of being vulnerable, of explaining what was going on, knowing that stuff that happened to them in the past affected their future because they allowed it to. Yeah, somebody here is hiding. If it's you or your person. If it's your person, Taurus, or it's you, Taurus, even, you know, it's time to come out of hiding. Right? There, Somebody was stalling because they were afraid to show their true colors. But now what I'm getting for some of you, this person is ready to do that. We have two major arcana here, okay? But the bottoms of the deck for the angel tarot here were major arcana. No, actually, this is major. And then we had the bottom of the deck with the sun. It's another major, okay? These are major life transitions. The divine is really having a hand in this. All right, Taurus. Okay. Let's see what your guidance is for the week. Spirit guides, angels, galactic angels, and series, please reveal to us for our highest good. What guidance do we have for Taurus for this week? Please and thank you. Thank you for your wisdom, your guidance, your support, and your clarity. and angels please and thank you thank you very much let it out let it flow open up the heart to feel that might even be i'm hearing for some of you that's your person they're gonna let everything out again with that page of cups that we saw when they kept telling me to look at the cards 
or that's you, Taurus. Opening up the heart. I talked about that with the Page of Cups. Bottom of the deck. You are worthy. Aim for what you want and believe in yourself. See? Again, that's just reemphasizing. Go after what you want. Queen of Wands. Guys, self-confidence through God confidence. You are more than worthy. It's not just being worthy. You are more than worthy, Taurus. Absolutely. All right. Let's see what's coming to you with regards to love. Spirit guides, angels. There goes the four wands. Please reveal to us for our highest good what is coming to Taurus with regards to love. Please and thank you. Thank you for your wisdom, your guidance, your support, and your clarity. Look at that. We have trust. Yep. This situation is calling for you to have faith. Trust and faith in God. Everything's going to work out. Whatever your situation is, this is for everybody. With regards to love here, faith is right there. Okay? Talked about that. Bottom of the deck, you deserve love, Taurus. You are lovable. Absolutely. I think I talked about this too. You are lovable. Look what's at the top of the deck. For some of you, this is applicable. I talked about the divorce, separation, time apart from your partners on the horizon. This could even be if you're a light counterpart slash twin flame. Some of you are going to go into the separation phase. Okay. Again, separation is needed. I'm a divine counterpart. I went through at least five. Okay. Yes, five. It's necessary. Until you get it right. And then the last one is one of the biggest ones. <laughs> it is the biggest one. Look what's underneath this. I wanted me to pull this up. It is safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. There you go. That's the biggie right there, Taurus. Trust and faith. Spirit guides, angels, galactic family, play and experience. Please reveal to us for highest good. What is Taurus's affirmation of the week? Please and thank you. Now all my stands are falling apart. <laughs> Nope, that wasn't supposed to be there. What is Taurus's affirmation of the week? Please and thank you. Thank you for your wisdom, your guidance, your support, and your clarity. Thank you, Spirit. Oh, beautiful. This is the Archangel of Unconditional Love. This is Archangel Raphael. You are blessed to attract this angel card. For Archangel Raphael brings health, healing, and abundance. He will help you to develop your intuition and inner vision. Call on him if you need help in these areas now. He also protects travelers during journeys. So this is a fortuitous card if you are about to travel. Okay, we talked about that. Because the world card is about traveling too, actually. Um, if you are a healer or wish to be one, Archangel Raphael will direct pure divine energy to you. He works on the green ray of healing and balance to visualize yourself surrounded by a clear green light and invoke his guidance. Oh, I said so. Let me read that again. He works on the green ray of healing and balance. So visualize yourself surrounded by a clear green light and invoke his guidance. Your affirmation of the week is I am happy, healthy, and abundant. Oh, wow. Look what's at the bottom of the deck, the self-worth card. Self-worth bestows a sense of confidence, expectation of success, and ability to love. Decide on clear boundaries and limits and firmly decline to let others step over them or manipulate you. You will earn respect. When you value yourself, you become open and friendly, slow to take offense, and quick to forgive. Remind yourself that you are likable and lovable. Do not let others press your buttons. Stand tall and confident. With true self-worth, you radiate a golden aura, which enfolds others and makes them feel good too. Ask your angel to step into your aura and guide you. Affirmation, 
I am confident and worthwhile. You know, it's amazing how spirit works with these readings, right? You are worthwhile. You are worthy, right? Believe in yourself. It's like everything else talked to confidence, the queen of wands. Self-confidence through God confidence. It's like you have to believe in that, Taurus. You are God within. God is always there to support you. All right. Okay, Taurus, if you would like a personal reading with me, please check out the description box below for information on how to book a reading with me. I do have direct links straight to the services. If you feel drawn to one, go ahead and click on the shortened link in the description box and it'll take you straight to it and you can book your reading from there because I do not book readings via email. I have my own booking system on my website. Or if you want to see the whole suite of services that I offer, hop on over to capellawellness.com, um, click on the service suite, or just go through the front page and you'll see all of the uh, services that I offer. Or you can learn more about me and my journey, whatever uh, you feel drawn to do if you hop on over to capellawellness.com. If you have any questions about anything, about my journey, because I am a light counterpart, I'm a Violet Twin Flame who's achieved union with self. If you didn't already know, if you have questions about your journey, questions about mine, any guidance, any questions about my services, or even this reading in general, please feel free to send me an email if you feel drawn to. Don't be shy. If you would like a little bit of guidance or have questions, I don't bite. I'm a very friendly person. If you can't already tell based on my readings. Okay, Taurus. All right. Well, that concludes your weekly reading. Thank you so very much for watching this video and for subscribing to this channel if you haven't already. And for illuminating the thumbs up button. I would greatly appreciate it. I wish you the best today. And always, I send you so, so much love. And I hope I illuminated your well-being today. Again, this is Jess from Capella Wellness. Starry out.